think all of the rebelled people and all of the unwanted people should host a little meet and greet in Anaheim, California on the same days as VidCon. I'd love to do it. To have Shane and his friends supporting my convention is literally the most jaw-dropping, tear-jerking, emotional thing to have ever happened to me. Like I literally, every single day, once a day, get brought to tears at the fact that Shane loves me and supports me. We're never getting in. Because there's no way to fucking get in. Then she needs to give everybody their money. Yes! Yeah. This shit show couldn't get any worse! Are you guys having fun today? There's a lot going on right now. Um, I am about to go uh, interview Tana, uh, Tana Mojo, about a lot of things. Um, but we've been filming all day today because a bunch of stuff happened that I'm gonna get to. I literally don't even know where to start. I'll start with TanaCon. <laughs> so TanaCon was supposed to be Tana's version of VidCon. It's a convention where you can meet your favorite YouTuber. It's inclusive and anybody can come and it was being marketed as like a free version of VidCon. If you guys want to leave me suggestions of places in Anaheim to throw a free meet and greet at VidCon this year, let me know because I'm going to find a place and I'm going to do it. And this all started because Tana made a video about VidCon where she was saying, oh, they treated her poorly. Not only did VidCon decide last minute not to make me a featured creator, but they decided it would be better if they banned me from their event for life. <laughs> They were, you know, doing a lot of shady things to YouTubers. But every year you guys do everything in your power to make it hell for me. But only after I promote the shit out of your event. And don't you think that's fucked up? She wanted to create her version of VidCon, but better. I would love to make this shit bigger, better, and freer <laughs> than VidCon. And then when that video went out, a lot of YouTubers started tweeting about it and kind of like siding with her like a lot of youtubers were like yeah we agree team tana and reportedly there are already 80 confirmed creators to attend you have miranda sings ricky dylan ac neistat bella thorne it was pretty crazy because tana is one of those people where she's very polarizing a lot of people don't like her a lot of people think she's a mess like they don't trust her they think she's lying a lot but for some reason this specific thing everybody was like i'm on team tana Personally, I hope it does well because the success of others and people being more independent in this community leads to more success for others being independent in this community. So then TanaCon became a reality. She was planning a convention the same weekend as VidCon. It starts tomorrow at the same time VidCon is happening. Right down the street from VidCon. Literally <laughs> within walking distance. And this convention she was saying was going to be free or have really cheap VIP tickets. And I would love to meet you guys for free and cause the ruckus for free. And all your favorite creators were going to be there. Now she texted me and she was like, hey, I totally understand if you don't want to come, but like it would mean the world to me if you did. And I said, yes, I've been on YouTube for a long time. I was literally at the first VidCon back in 2009 or 2010. Hey, Cheryl Lazar coming to you backstage at VidCon with Shane Dawson. How was it? Because this is the first first ever VidCon uh, conference of its kind. When it was just a thousand people, and it was a few YouTubers, and it was really small, and I was there in my fucking ugly vest and straightened hair. So awesome, Shane Dawson's here. <laughs> um, can you sign my book, please? Of course, yeah. And I did that because the Green Brothers, you know, asked me to do it, and they wanted me to support them, and I did. So that's why I decided to go to TanaCon, because I wanted to support Tana, she was trying something new, and I was like, you know what, I hate conventions, I haven't been to VidCon forever, I fucking hate this shit but let's do it. So I didn't really do much research on anything. I didn't really know anything going into it, except for the fact that like, my face was on the list of people next to Bella Thorne. <laughs> I don't know. And I was gonna do a meet and greet. I was like, all right, sounds good. Like this wasn't my convention, okay? I wasn't a part of the planning. I wasn't a part of anything, except for the fact that I was like, sure, I'll come. Which now in retrospect is 
the worst decision I think I've ever made. She created her own event called TanaCon and it got shut down today. Not only was TanaCon um, a failure, but it was a safety hazard. Get in here, I need everybody to move and clear this out because we have the paramedics coming in. Everyone is in this hot parking lot with no bathrooms, no water, no food. I know you've been standing in the hot sun. I know you need water. I know you guys need food. It caused riots. Why are we causing a riot? Please do not steal the badges. It caused so many thousands of people to get sunburns, like third degree burns on their bodies. We were in line for almost Four. five hours. As you can see, I am <laughs> burnt. This actually, this hurts. People were passing out. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was even getting into the convention center. The convention center wasn't even a convention center. It was a hotel lobby the size of a Chipotle and they were acting like they could fit 5,000 people in there, which is crazy. Check in line. This is crazy. We were there too. What? So you end up that, you end up right here, but you start way back here. And then of course it was canceled. Okay, what's happening? I don't know. They canceled it because there were way too many people. There was a lot of drama involving that. I mean, you had James Charles going on a Twitter rant. I was with him when he was ranting, and I mean, I know he was getting a lot of shit for it, but I agreed with everything he was saying. This was a mess. It was a mess. Tana wasn't taking accountability. She wasn't returning anybody's phone calls or texts. Her team was being confused and like not helping either. Everything about this was Titanic. Like, everything. Women and children first. All right, boys, like the captain said, nice and cheery so there's no panic. Gentlemen, please play exactly Wedding dance. Now, it got canceled, thank God. Nobody got seriously hurt. But now we're left in a place where I don't know if anybody's getting refunds. I haven't been able to really talk to anybody. But even more confusing, I've been hearing some crazy theories that maybe all of this was planned to fail. It sounds crazy, but why else would they have a hotel lobby where it says on the website, it fits a thousand people. Why would they sell 5,000 tickets? Also, in all the videos of people at TanaCon, everybody purchased tickets, everybody. Featured fucking creator badge. I have not seen a single other badge. Have you guys seen any people that claim they got free passes or anything? No, no. no. She said that there were se separate lines for VIP and regular, but whenever I went through the line, there was no difference at all. Nobody saw anybody with a free ticket, which is the whole thing. Oh, Tana's giving out free tickets. And I would love to meet you guys for free and cause the ruckus for free. Where are they? And then the big story was, oh, 20,000 people showed up. And that's why it was canceled. It's 20,000 fucking crazy teenagers showed up and ruined everything for everybody. And well, she expected about 5,000 people to show up. 20,000 people showed up. I didn't expect 15,000 people to show up. Oh then you look at the actual footage and it does not look like 20,000 people. And everybody that's been there that I've talked to said no. Maybe a few thousand, not 20. So then you start to think, okay, what if this whole thing was bullshit? There was no free tickets. What if everybody paid $65 for a ticket? And freer <laughs> than VidCon. And what if a thousand of them were inside? <laughs> and then the other 4,000 that paid to be there were outside waiting to get in. there was literally no room inside. So it wasn't a riot, it wasn't like a bunch of crazy people saying fuck VidCon, it was kids who paid money to be there, standing out in the sun, burning their asses off. Now the reason this makes sense to me is because number one, who the fuck is Good Times Touring Company? Who is that? I've never heard of them, I don't know what they are, are they even real? Number two, look at this picture, okay? This is a picture of a group of 20,000 people. This is what it looks like. All right, now this is the supposed 20,000 people that were outside of TanaCon. <laughs> That's not the same. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, Shane, shut up. Why do you care so much? Who cares? It's not your convention. Nobody blames you. Like, get over it, move on. I've heard that from a lot of people on the internet in my life. People are just like, you, you stop giving so much of a fuck about this. <laughs> the reason I do, um, is because I went into this thinking, oh, this is TanaCon. We want Tana! 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 
you know, it's gonna be all Tannis fans and maybe I'll be walking around and it's like, oh, there's, there's the grandpa of YouTube. Oh, that's Shane. Oh, that old guy who <laughs> does conspiracies. Cool. But like, we're here for Tana. Why would anybody who watches Tana give a fuck about me? I don't know. But when I saw all the footage and I saw all the kids making videos that were there, so many of them said they went there specifically to see me. This is Shane Con now. I mean, there was kids who flew there to see me. As soon as he announced that he was going, I bought a ticket and then I was like, oh, now I need a flight, I need a hotel and stuff. Can I afford all of this? No, but I did. I was like, oh, that's really cool. You know, like Shane Dawson doesn't really go out to conventions. I spent $2,000 to fly from Hawaii. Well, and that's another thing. I don't even know if I'll get to meet Shane tomorrow. I paid a thousand just to be here with my plane ticket and with the hotel. There were so many people walking around in my picture and in my other merch and with the Illuminati pop sockets. And I think that's when it really hit really close to home. This isn't TanaCon anymore. This is like all of us con and all of these kids were fucked over. And I'm a part of that. You know, my face was on the fucking website. I told people, come see me, and they got nothing. They literally got, they got fucked. And I'm gonna say this right now. The main reason why I bought the TanaCon tickets and like begged to go and like my mom got this for me for my birthday was because of Shane, because I've been watching him for 10 years, like since I was like literally 12. And it's been like eating at me. I have been not sleeping. I even was up at like 5 a.m. doing an Instagram live just talking about it because I needed to talk about it and everybody around me was sick of hearing about it. <laughs> and I'm sick of just people being like, I'll make it better. Like, I, will you? And I think the main reason I want to really figure this shit out is because I'm mad. I'm mad that all of these people that paid money were lied to, but more importantly, they were disappointed and they thought they were gonna have a really fun, awesome time. Tana made this whole video about, oh, this is gonna be better than VidCon, it's gonna be so much fun, this is for you guys, and like, it was fucking worse than VidCon. Refund! Refund! It was awful. This is insane. If I was Tana, I would be to the point where I wanted to literally move out of the country. That's another thing too. I want to talk to Tana and be like, what the fuck were you thinking? Was this your fault? Whose fault was this? And why haven't you figured out a way to fix it? Because there's only so much tweets can actually do and somebody needs to pay for it, so. So I guess the last thing I want to leave you guys with is a question. I mean, I think a big part of it too is going to be like, the constant weirdness of that guy on the Segway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not recording. <laughs> but the guy, Michael, the guy who was the CEO, CEO of whatever Big Times is, I don't even know if that's a real thing. I don't, is it a company? But in all the footage that people have of TanaCon, like all the crazy chaos, the riots, whatever, you just see this guy with like bleach blonde hair and like a Gucci necklace, scarf thing, and he's just like segwaying around the convention. like. Segway, like it was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Do you think he would let us interview him? Man, that would be crazy. What's I the mean, he literally, I texted him. I was like, hey, I need to talk to somebody about literally something. And he said, I'm so sad. I invested every penny in this to make this work. I'm gonna lose my house over this. Now I'm thinking like, everybody's blaming him and saying that TanaCon was a nightmare because the people who organized it were scamming everybody. But were they? Or was it Tana? Did Tana know? Like, I want to interview both of them. Yeah, that, well, I, that's interesting. That's crazy. Right? Like, in the, at the same time. I'll I didn't even think about that. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna have a... Because it's not even about, like, exposing and, like, drama and tea. It's literally not tea. It's like, there's some fucked up shit going on, and I want to know what it is, and I'm sick of seeing, like, public statements about it from, like, people's Twitters. I want to, like, hear what the fuck happened. And they're just gonna wait for it to go away, I know that. What company is owned by a 22, 20 year old guy on a Segway? Like, what is that? I'll take uh, three questions. Three. Um. Anyways, more importantly, I wanna hear from the people that were there. I've already talked to one girl, uh, Caitlin. I saw a video she posted where um, she was showing her sunburns. She was talking about like 
how she flew out to meet specifically me and you guys, my friends. So I met up with her. I took a picture with her, and you can see her sunburn in the picture. It's crazy. Like, the, her whole chest was like... Yeah, it was crazy. Literally crazy, right? Yeah. It, looks... it makes sense, though. I mean, like, if you're standing outside for four hours with the sun just beating on you, with obviously not anticipating that, so you don't have, like, a, a hat or sunscreen or anything to cover yourself up. There was these two girls that I saw tweeting about this, and they came from Florida. That's another thing. People are like, oh, Shane, calm down. Like, most people were from California. Oh, most people were just from VidCon. Like, no, I think a lot of people flew out here for this. Then, when I got the list, they sent me the list of people that RSVP'd for my specific meet and greet. Most of them were not from California. Most of them are from like Arkansas, Texas, whatever. I also just want to know like what they think should be done. Okay, so they just pulled up. So should we meet them outside? Or I don't know. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> are they gonna be mad at me? I don't think so. I don't know. I put my fucking name on this thing. I'm on the flyer. I'm right next to Bella fucking Thorne and like whoever else. Like. Was it partially my fault for not doing my research and being like, oh, what the fuck is this company? Is this even real? I guess I should have thought about that. I don't know. All right, let's go uh, talk to them. Hi. <laughs> Sorry I'm not showered. This is very... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Morgan's pulling in. She's gonna hit us with her car. Here, let's go over here. Hey, so we just wanted to come and meet you. We're from Florida. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, hi, Morgan. I've heard you didn't know we're here. I didn't know it. Welcome to Tanacon! <laughs> let's, do you want to go inside? That's, I think you've been standing in the sun. It's all good. You know, we're used to it. It's okay. We have water this time around. Oh my god, yeah. Well, I have died. What is happening? <laughs> Tanacon, you didn't know? Or did you not get the email? I didn't bring enough food for everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> they already experienced that. <laughs> I swear, we're like... I'm sorry, it's I just like losing the It's just as dirty as you imagined. No. Oh my god. Also, you're so much skinnier person. Like, I'm... <laughs> Welcome to Tanacon. I to say that. Oh my god, that's the window. That's the window. That's the window. <laughs> yes, that's the window. <laughs> that's the floor. Oh my god. Dog hair. That's that's right there. It's right there. You want a picture back? You want a selfie? Dog hair. <laughs> I did have dog hair. I know. Oh my god, it's so iconic. Oh my god. Wait, what's iconic? It's like Morgan just sitting there eating, and then Cheetah is just like. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, something's iconic. Oh my god. That's my old conspiracy couch. Ooh. Um, it smells in here because that's my pooping bathroom. Let's yeah, go. Let's out. chill. Let's, let's... Where was the demon room? <laughs> The whole house. <laughs> That's the Gucci bag. I hide it in the closet because once again I'm humble. I feel that. I can't relate. I can't relate. <laughs> I just realized that I No go, go for it. Oh, oh sunburn too, oh my yeah. God. Oh my god. Can yeah. You, I don't wanna No, go ahead. It's totally fine. Oh my god. Yeah. She might have some too, I don't know. I mean, oh my god. a lot of people were like kind of covering me though, so I wasn't as bad as her, but... People were covering yeah, to right. save her. <laughs> people were like, she's younger than us. Oh my god, it's like the war. <laughs> it was. Wait, I mean, you're really bad. I mean, it was just kind of like, I mean, she was already like dehydrated at that point. We, I mean, granted, we should have showed up with water and stuff, but we kind of just like... Should you have though? No. But I mean, it was, it was just ridiculous. Like, I remember there was this one mom walking around. It got so bad to where like, some lady was waiting for eight hours. She was just like, my daughter's been sitting here for hours, and I don't, I think they came from Canada or something. And they oh were just God. saying like, and the thing is though, like, we just, we felt so bad the whole time knowing that like, we didn't want you guys to think it was on you. We didn't like, I, and you have no reason to think that, but for the longest time we were just thinking, you know, we can't even imagine what she must be thinking right now. Like, cause honestly, like, I know you said in your video, like, it wasn't Tanacon. We don't want to call it Tanacon. We came for you. Like, so many people came for you. And we were just, we were holding on a hope and we just, we knew as soon as like, I want to say like an hour and we just knew it wasn't going to happen. But I mean, we just were trying to hold out, you know, it was one of those things. And we don't want you to be upset. We like, we're speaking, we're here for everybody that was supposed to meet you. Oh my God. It's okay. It's okay. I, it's okay. I wasn't trying to cry or anything. I just don't, I'm like so fucked up over this. I know it seems like. <laughs> Maybe it seems fake or something. I literally haven't slept in so long. I feel so awful I like thinking about people out in the Sun for that long and like kids and there's no water And then you guys are just like 
thinking like, oh, oh, well, at least we're gonna meet some of our favorite YouTubers, at least that's gonna happen, and then that fucking doesn't happen, and you leave, burnt, and then here I am, like, but there was, there was nothing you guys could have done. I mean, we were, you know, of course at the time we were like, you know what, this is so fucked up. Why didn't Hannah do something sooner? But it's like, she didn't know anything that was going on. We made it, we were fortunate enough after about yeah. five hours, we made him inside. You were inside? We were inside. inside. We got inside. We, yeah. So the about, people behind us but inside. the thing is, I can tell you right now, I can verify everything that you said in your video. There was no security, nothing in terms of a bag check. When we, when they were canceled the event, we thought a shooting was going on because they, we knew yeah. that they didn't check our bag. We're doing our best though to make sure that every single person being let inside was going through a double, triple security pass. It felt like we were in a conspiracy the entire time. I knew, I knew there were not 15,000 additional people there. There was not a chance. We were in the building, we circled around the building, we saw the group, like the group that was trying to come in. Those were people that were waiting in line. Those were all the rest of like the 5,000 people that never got in. We had all 5,000 people inside of TanaCon today. Wow. They were not 15,000 people. Yes. 15,000 people, please imagine like the Super Bowl, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, Was there a thing where you guys genuinely thought there was like a shoot? I'm dead like, serious. I, we, we, when we went to the front to get water because I was like about to like faint, I literally thought there was like a shooting. <laughs> No, they're just over capacity. <laughs> the craziest part is the Christina Grimmy thing was like a meet and greet of 30 people. Like, if this truly was even 5,000 people, they, I can't believe something didn't happen. I, I agree. The girl I, I talked to said people were walking with duffel bags and bag, big backpacks and were, nobody was checking them. They were. And I, I mentioned to Andrew, you know, that we originally purchased two VIP tickets, I want to say like a week or two after TanaCon was announced. Those tickets, we never got confirmation on. We were charged it. I still have like the receipts. I emailed the lady. She said, oh, I'm sorry. What was the name reserved under? And uh, it was completely lost to registration. Oh and my God, yeah, that's crazy. so we, it was just a nightmare. I just like, I told the girl, I was like, who is running this? And I said, I know it's not that kid that was just on a Segway going around. Like, so who is in charge of this? And she's like, Honestly, I don't even really know. I'm just like here working this part. Um, you can ask inside. I was like, I don't even know. That's <laughs> I what I want to figure know. out too is who the fuck was in charge of this. I thing. still don't know. Because it wasn't Tana, no, obviously. Absolutely. TanaCon would not be TanaCon if it wasn't for each and every fucking one of you. I love her so much! Was it the guy on the Segway? It couldn't have been. I find it hard to believe that because, I mean, this guy's a year older than me. And I mean, I'm not saying I'm high and mighty, but I can't run a convention. Yeah. Tana said herself, like, it, she can't run it herself. Yeah. And the funny thing is, too, I don't have it saved anymore, but as soon as I try to go back and find those tickets, I had the tab saved, and I refreshed the page, and it literally said, page not found. It said, like, organization or page link to scams. Like, that's exactly Whoa. what it said. I'm not even joking. I'm not exaggerating that. I mean, dead serious. I don't have it anymore. It was on my laptop, but it literally said, link to scam, please revert or over or something. Like it literally said that, you know, we were under the impression that we were gonna be invited to like all meetups. Like we get fast pass for one, but you can go to as many as you want. In the fine print it said, you're not even guaranteed the one. They said fast passes to meet and greet. Yeah. Not just one meet and yeah. greet. Yeah. And also how is a fast pass working? 5,000 people have them. I think it's bad because they kind of scammed us. Like, like I don't understand yeah. what that means. Like Tana was told that it could fit 5,000 people. Do you think? Not a chance, not a chance. There was, I want to say 200 people where that was, where we were, and that was the biggest part of the lobby. Whoa, but what can I do, what can Tana do to make this up? I'm gonna be real with you, there's nothing that's gonna make everybody happy. Yeah. Um, the suggestions that you put out, I think are the best solution in terms of like making a meetup for those that are local. Um, clearly, you know, we're speaking on people who aren't local. Some people, we read the comments, she had said, one girl said, come to Egypt. I thought, that is not realistic. Yeah. I mean, I, it's horrible, but it's just not realistic. Even just making a video like you are and making these like live streams and making announcements, just you acknowledging the situation was already such a yeah, light was, years ahead of yeah, what Yeah, because the whole day after like, like the first day of TanaCon was like happening, she didn't say one word like on Twitter. And then when you said something, it meant a lot because like no one else was acknowledging the problem. Exactly. For you. Questions are just completely being ignored. Everybody's confused, disappointed. <sighs> Wait, so. so you guys, did you guys um, RSVP for my meeting? Yeah, we RSVP'd and got to the Hold registration. On. Wait, come over here. They sent me a list of the RSVP list and it looked shady to me. It was like, 
It was only 394 people. There's no way. People. Not a chance. There's no way. What are your names again? Lauren and Lindsay Gabornik. G-A-B-O-R-N-I-K. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Did you guys get like the VIP stuff? Yep, we have the passes and everything. No, Actually, I have my bag. Oh, do you? I left mine home. I just kept anything really. I mean, it was... This is like... <laughs> I mean, this I mean is the nothing. thing is, at that point, we were just like, you know what, it's something. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of like, we reached a point of like, you know what, at least we can say we were here. <laughs> this literally is, like, this is what they give you at the hospital. Like, to put your, like, <laughs> shoes in. <laughs> Feel it. It literally is like, that's not even material. It's like plastic. Let's do an, un an <laughs> unboxing. <laughs> Oh wow, you actually got more than I did. So I just the, grabbed them. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, that was- Wow. <laughs> I just want to do some math really quick. So apparently this is three times our ticket price. So this must yeah. be, this must be an expensive ass condom, which I mean. <laughs> this Gucci princess, like okay, this must have been from the Gucci store because <laughs> Tana would never, <laughs> Tana would never. What are like, these stickers? I mean, I, not I don't even, it. I, you cool. know. Like, that looks like something from the dollar store. A dollar store. No tea, but. <laughs> All the tea. Like, Gucci princess. I mean. That's so ironic. I know. It's like, it's like you guys are all standing out in the heat. I looked at it, I was like, like, thank God I'm a Gucci princess. You know, I'm not being hydrated. Might not have eaten in six hours, but you know what? I'm still queen. It's fine. Oh, fuck. Oh my God, I hope you tweeted that. <laughs> this condom. I heard that it like, I heard that it was like. I mean, like. Really like, cheap, too. It's like, Trojan would never. I mean, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Do you think anybody used that and got bricked? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thank god they gave you guys condoms because you guys all got fucked. I mean, it's too easy. It's too easy. <laughs> but it's the truth. It, the, everybody was without water. There were a few people who actually got one bottle of water. Yeah, and they're all sharing. And it was literally that scene from Victorious where they all took one cap full. It was, I'm not even exaggerating. Tana is gonna go and pretend that she cares about people right now by giving water to the people who couldn't get in because this whole event is canceled for the day. There were people literally clapping because there was one person handing out bottles of water within like and even, um, every like 100 increments. It's so hard to like think that people, other people could put other people through that. If, the, if this was truly planned to make it as chaotic as it was, and I hate to think that, to just, you know, get their name out there, get their crowd out there, any publicity is publicity for them, unfortunately. And that's the first thing that came to mind. It's like, if it, even if it's a bad reputation, it gets their name out there. Do you really think that that whole thing, this whole panic thing could have just been like, I didn't even think about that. You think it could have been set up to fail so that it would be like a Twitter moment? I think yeah, so, absolutely. A company is not going to care about one single YouTuber, unfortunately, and Tana was the face of this. Tana was the one that took the fall initially, if you think about it. They didn't come for the organization first, they came for Tana first. Tana's not the person to blame here, it's the company. And that's when people, I think, started questioning it. They're not gonna, they're not gonna care about one YouTuber if it means that they get their name out there in this type of way using a company by the name of Good Times. Fire I, I don't blame Tana for this. I absolutely blame yeah. Good no, Times. Yeah. I blame Good Times. So do you think that there was no free tickets? Do you think that was a scam? I think so. The whole thing was just about money. It was it, it, the saddest thing because it's so many people came there with hopes of meeting just their favorite creators and just being there for Tana, being supporters, yeah, doing that's, what they that's did. the whole motto, to meet your favorite fucking That was the whole, fucking creators. yeah, that was the whole thing. <laughs> and you're loved here, and you're a featured fucking creator here, okay? Now I love you guys. I hope you have a lit ass weekend at TanaCon. You're not gonna get kicked out of here unless you do some stupid ass shit. So are you shutting down the whole event or are you just I shutting think, out who's here? I think we're shutting down the whole event. Now I have to interview that guy. Which guy is that? The CEO of Good Times, Michael Weiss. What would you say to him if you could say something? I would say, were we as fans and the creators, were our safety and well-being considered first? Was that the number one priority? Because if it was, you're lying to yourself. Yeah. So as I was talking to the girls who came over, um, I got a phone call from Tana and I went to the other room and she was just freaking out. Andrew came over when I was talking and we started recording the phone call. Yeah, I mean, we we were trying to hold out. She didn't know we were filming and uh, here's that. 
I realize this is wrong. And like, yes, it doesn't matter my intentions. Like, people have to be resolved. Things have to be wrong. Michael can't keep doing this to people. Chris Hans can't keep doing this to people. Like, just everything. Like, I get it. I, I understand where you're coming from to the fullest extent. I think, you know, after talking to these kids, it's like, they just want to hear us talk about it. They want to hear you talk about it. Even if you don't know everything, they just want, like, okay. more. I agree. And know? I've been really afraid for the past few days about saying anything negative about Michael or the Times because it's like, no matter how dirty he did me, like, it's my fault. Like, I agreed. I should have listened to people who told me not to work with him. I should have done better research. Like, you know, like, I just don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, do I talk about the fact that I was lied to about like venue and capacity sizes? Do I talk about the fact my Michael literally got people from and I'm like Marriott to lie to me about that? Do I say those things or do I just take full blame? I I think we say everything. I wanna interview Michael too. No, no, he flew home right after and like left all of us here without transportation back to LA and like all the like people and like all that kind of stuff. Like, I want to go back and pay talent for their time. Like, I feel so bad for Gabby show. She's so upset. I don't even know what to say. Where are you right now? I'm in Anaheim. Well, I think we have to do this tonight. I think we have to get this out as soon as possible. Um, I, can I be honest with you? Yeah. I'm, like, terrified. Like, I feel like I just don't have the answers that everyone wants. I only can say what Michael told me and that I went and did my best to like research. Like I sat through the meetings, he had people tell me everything. You know what I mean? Like, and I believed him. Yeah. Like it's fucked up. It's fucked up that my fucking fans had to go through anything like this. Like it's so, so, so fucked up. So Michael's not around. And I like, I don't know what to do to make it right, but obviously like with any of your help, I trust you. Yeah. Can I ask you an honest question? Yeah. You think that this should be my response, like your video? Yes. Okay, I agree, because like, that's what I'm so afraid of, is I think with other things in the past, I go very, like, impulsive and just say everything, and, like, I don't want people to be like, you don't know what you're saying, you're lying, whatever, I want to, like, just be able to talk, and, like, you know what I mean? Like, I think people trust like, me, trust me enough, and they know that I'm not going to let you bullshit, and I'm not going to bullshit, so. What do I have to do to, to fix it, though, with the people that bought tickets? Like, what? I'm just terrified of yeah. letting the people who love me the most down. And I did. And I don't know how to come back from it. I, I'm, I'm terrified. Well, I, I, we're going to do it. I got you. Right. I love you, Shane. I love you. I don't know why you even have it in your heart to give me a chance and a platform to talk and try to make things better. Like, you are the best person I will ever know. And thank you. Of course. I love you. Keep me posted, okay? Please, please keep me posted. Okay, well. Okay, I love you. Bye. He left town? Well, that's what I was trying to figure out. Like, where did he go? Where does he live? Now let me text that guy. What the fuck? That sounds like... That sounds like Bernie Madoff. <laughs> Bernard Madoff has just been sentenced for the biggest investment fraud in Wall Street history. Okay, I just texted him and said I'm doing a video about all of this and I want to interview all sides and make sure it's balanced and not bullshit. Are you around today for an interview? Michael? Mm -hmm. I mean, even if it's just like... A phone call. Oh my god. What? I just got a text. Oh my god. The police put out an official statement saying there was only 4,000 people outside. Just right now? Yes. I'm gonna give you the exclusive statement that I got from the Garden Grove Police. There was approximately 4,000 to 5,000 people at most. There was not 20,000 people there. That means that there was 1,000 people inside, just like they said, and then 4,000 people would pay tickets outside. The hotel ballrooms where the event was scheduled could hold a maximum of 1,000 people. TanaCon had sold 4,000 tickets. What's going on? I yeah. Five. Literally exactly what we thought. Yeah. There was no permit for this event. Like, this is a fucking scam. I want my money back. And somebody needs to be held responsible for this. I just read there was a police statement put out that there was only 4,000 people outside. I 100% believe that. There's not a chance in hell it was 15,000. I've never seen 15,000 people in my entire life, you know. 
Oh my Hannah god. Hannah said herself know. that Did nothing you? in Anaheim other than VidCon could hold that many people. Yeah. How could a parking lot? Um, I'd love to see another statement from Good Times. I can't wait to see what they say next. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I don't even know where they are. <laughs> Our medics treated a 14-year-old female minor who was knocked down by the crowd. She was taken to a local hospital for minor injuries. Okay, I just got a text from Michael. I was like, hey man, um, just letting you know, everybody's like saying a lot of things about you and I want to give you your chance. I want to interview you. Are you down for that? And he said, uh, yeah. He goes, also like, I'm working on making it a documentary. I have all the footage, <gasps> and I think it's gonna be emotional and awesome. Literally, my okay, so these girls out there, they said, they were like, oh, I think that Good Times wanted this to fail so that they could get press out of it and become like get promotion out of it or something, right? Thousands of fans showed up to the first day of TanaCon and things quickly descended into chaos. A now it would make sense because if they did want it to fail, and they were filming the whole thing. Why were they filming the whole thing? Was the whole point of this to make a documentary and to sell it to Netflix or sell it to somebody and get promotion and make a doc? Like, it literally, right? That's what it sounds like. Why else would he? No, I think they oversold tickets and then they're now trying to turn it into something because they need to make money to try to pay kids back and they're scammy. This word has been easily thrown around lately, but I think I need to label Tana Mojo's event a scam. You scammed people out of their time out of their money. It is a scam. You, you stole things from people. That's crazy. So are you gonna interview him? Well, he's not, he fucking left town. The second it happened, he got on a plane and left. Where did he go? I don't understand, where did he live? Where he lives? Where does he live? I don't know. Just like, what does that even mean? Well, Tana supposedly is coming back from Tana I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Did you really say that unironically? I didn't know I said it. Wait, that's the title of the documentary. Tanaheim. <laughs> I put my soul out there. This is crazy. It's like I'm inside of a conspiracy. Oh, Tana's calling. Hi, I'm sorry for calling you again. I just I'm sorry. I just wanted to let you know that I just got a message that you were coming back. Yeah, he's uh he's not in LA. But he wants to do an interview and he said he's already working on his own awesome documentary about this whole thing. Why would he say no, that? You know what's funny? Is so Hunter, my videographer, has been filming stuff for my YouTube channel, right? Uh-huh. The last scene with Bella and uh, Tana. And Michael's videographer still came to him and was like, everything you film this hour to be filmed and we will do everything to get it. You can't have any of your footage, it's for our documentary, blah blah blah. And we were like, what like all of these influencers that like Michael manages, like like big, big influencers came up to me and they're like, we knew this was gonna fail from the beginning, like, but they were too afraid of him to tell me before. Whoa, somebody said that. Nuts. Oh my god. I don't have to I'm surprised he's even talking to you. I mean, do you, I'm gonna do that interview with him. Do you want to, oh okay, my god. If you interview him, I, I'm not gonna be there. I'm not gonna literally, because I know my word is going to try to say he didn't fucking say all the shit. Then let's fucking do it. I hate that this ended up like, I don't want to put the blame on anyone else. It's still my fucking fault. You know? It's 100% and you're you're going to take the blame and say all that, but still, like, there is some crazy shit. People know there's some crazy shit going on. I think, should we just plan on 9 p.m.? Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. I'll yeah. you. Bye. He literally is trying to own all the footage. It's go crazy. I'm in a conspiracy. How did this happen? You also can't just write this off on him, though. You have to critically interview Tana. Of course. No, I'm going to do that as well. Obviously. I mean, that is crazy. I'm just saying, like, you can't just write her off immediately. Like, you have No, to she fucked up. She knows that, and I'm going to grill her on that, and I want her to know everything. But also, like, this is crazy. You guys have no idea for these surprises that I have in store for you. So then it was time for me to talk to Michael, and um, I was nervous, and I didn't know what to expect. And, um, this is what happened. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna FaceTime Michael. So I got a list of things from Tana um, that she wanted me to ask him, saying things like he lied about the capacity size of the hotel, he lied about background checks and security. The hired private security at the event could not handle the crowd. I work security for Terracon. It's crazy, as you guys can see. There's about 20 to 30,000 kids out there, and they got little me 
and my team out here trying to keep 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 these guys in line. This shit is no joke. It is no joke. Um, I think you have to go on the, the FaceTime app or something. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's Hey. Uh, can we, I want to say something before you, if you're okay. Uh-huh. The last thing I want to do is throw anyone under the bus, and I'm risking my career by potentially throwing someone under the bus that I work with, and I don't want to do that. But I, I do want to talk, and I do want to like answer questions and everything. When you say you don't want to throw somebody under the bus, you mean Tana? Perhaps. For the record, Shane, we filmed from the beginning to the end. like. Every piece of footage, I'm going to put the documentary out. If nothing else, just now to help clear up everything. The first scene is Tana and I on the phone talking. The second scene is like me going to Tana's house and then Bella's house. And like, we have everything. From the beginning to like me literally breaking down crying, trying to find a venue Friday night and like everything in between. So uh, I'll gladly share you anything that you need for your video or whatever. Why, why were you guys documenting everything? We wanted to document the experience. We thought it was going to be amazing. Like, why would we not make a documentary? She needs to get everybody their money. Yes, yes. So that was one thing that I heard today, which was that you guys wanted to own all the footage, even hunters. Like, is that true? Yeah, well, we not obviously like it was never like a. Oh, we own every right to everything from outside sources. Yeah, we just wanted to control it because we wanted to make a documentary on it. You know, so like. Right. Um. Okay. I think the main thing is, and the reason I was so confused. It didn't make sense to me before I even talked to Tanner or anybody. That venue is so small. Like it didn't make sense. The Marriott told me to my face that it will hold right around 4,000 people because we were doing all the ballroom space, the main ballroom, the lobby, the restaurant days will be a bought out for Saturday meetups. For the record, we are looking into litigation against the Marriott. Um, this has cost me everything. Well over $700,000 on, on the event alone, not including Tana's reputation, your reputation, all of our creators. At the end of the day, Marriott fucked us over. We're not blocked off from the rest of the hotel at all, so I feel really bad for the actual guests that are here. We're 100% going with litigation against the Marriott. Now, I think one other thing that was confusing was where did the number 15,000 people come from? Because I don't believe that for a second. We basically, we know that there was not, there was well more than 10,000 people. I don't, I don't know exactly what that number is, but based on like what was inside, and basically when that first thousand people came in, that should have been one fifth of the crowd. Like we knew exactly the multiplying out. We've done it before. Everything was registered, and it, it wasn't. Like it was, people were asking to buy tickets at the door. People were asking for this. Like it was. That's what caused a delay. And in hindsight, we we should have had a, like a, a separate line that was for non merch tickets because I think there may have been an impression that you could get free tickets there. Um, and clearly that was not the case. So you, you guys are claiming that there was security, but I've interviewed multiple people who were there who said not only were their bags not checked, their IDs weren't even looked at. I didn't even need to show them my ticket. I was like, oh yeah, I have VIP. And they like gave me a badge and let me through. When I went through the list that somebody sent me, your, your assistant sent me of the people that RSVP'd for my meet and greet, it was only like 390 people. And the girls I met today that showed me proof that they did RSVP, their names weren't on the list. So everything just seems so confusing. Cause I'm like, what is I this? Guess. Like there clearly was like, if it was just like, a, oh, we fucked up. We didn't know what we were doing. This was way out of our hands. Like we shouldn't have taken this on. That's one thing. I think what people are confused about is like all the lies. It's like, oh, we had really good security. Like, no, you didn't. Oh, we had re we had background checks. Uh-uh. Oh, we had multiple lines. Like, no, there wasn't. It was just one line. Oh, there was like a crazy mob of angry 12,000 people. Like, no, it was probably mostly people that did buy tickets. And like, there wasn't really any free tickets. Like, yeah. have you seen anyone with like a regular free badge? Oh, everyone's had VIP that I've spoken to. All the free giveaways, like, was that just not real? Was it, like, you know what I mean? There's just so many things like that that are confusing that Tana isn't able to answer, and maybe she is, and maybe she's lying to me. That's what I want to get down to the bottom of. So it's not even about throwing people under the bus, it's like, what the fuck happened? And I, I know, and I know your concerns. I'm probably more concerned than anyone. I wanted this event to succeed more than anyone else. Like, I spent money that I didn't have. Every line of credit that I could access, I did it because I believed in Tana. And I believed in every possibility that like 
we could we could do this, and, and and Tana's vision would you know be a success. And I'm going to lose everything over this. So like, what do you mean when you say that you so you put in your own personal money into this? Like I am the sole owner of Good Times. My money is everything. I guess like it's expensive to throw a convention, and I would be the last person to want this to fail. And I get that the fans are upset. Yeah, I am more upset than you could ever imagine. You don't understand, Shane. It is so heartbreaking, and I'm going to lose everything. Like, everything. And... How... Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. How old are you? 21. Oh, my God. How did you yeah. get into all of this? How long have you been doing this? I started my business when I was a 17-year-old a high school student. We did shows that were sold out across the country back when, like, Zion was big. Hey, guys. What is up? It is Female Seacrest at Playlist Live Orlando with Michael Weiss. Um, how are you doing today? I'm excellent, how are you? I'm good. We used to do shows with like, I don't know, uh, Taylor Kniff and like Jacob Whitesides, all the Madcon kids. And they just scaled up and grew and over time, you know, we moved into talent management and we had new divisions go up. This is ruining my relationships with people that I've worked with in the industries for years. I cannot, I'm shaking violently. Like I'm shaking right now. I, there's nothing I can do about it. Why, when, when, you, right. when you said that you didn't want to throw Tana under the bus because tonight I'm going to go in, I'm going to talk to her and I'm going to at some point call you with her. But I want to like get to the bottom of it with her. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I want the I truth, know. you know? So what, when you say you don't want to throw her under the bus, what do you mean? Is there something that nobody's saying? Is there something that nobody knows about? Is she, was this her plan? Like, what was this? We were all so excited and so happy and like full of love and joy. We we're all doing this for the right reasons. So, so your birthday party on the 22nd. Oh yeah, we have to have creator parties, and those have to be like oh, yeah. legendary. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, because of their no, it was never anyone's plan for all of this to happen. Well, that doesn't even make sense. Why, why would I do that? Yeah. My career is going to, to fall apart. Yeah. It already is. Do you think that the, you know, the bottom line is, this was just way out of your guys's realm of, you know, possibility. And when I first called Tana. I called her and I was like, let's fucking do it, girl. Like, we were all so hyped, like, let's throw TanaCon. We can make this huge, like, let's let's do it. The first thing I said was, do we have to do it at VidCon dates across the street? Can I put it in a different city at a different time? Let's have the time frame that we need to get the perfect venue so that everything's good to go. At the end of the day, we had no choice. Like, we had, she wanted it during VidCon. Looking back, poor decision. If the Marriott believed that we couldn't do it, they should have never, ever, ever, ever let that happen. And also, like, for the record, everyone's talking about these funds. I don't even have the money from the ticket company. The ticket company is holding funds. Tana said, oh, actually, love you not. I don't know Tana. No, do, you know, you honestly, I don't want to say to throw her under the bus, but I, I would say your truth because she's not, she's not making you look great. I know she's not. I cannot deal with it, Shane. It's so hard. So, so hard. And, like, Tana's telling people she spent hundreds of thousands of her own money. No. She did. Not a dollar. I'm also so incredibly excited for the future of TanaCon and the future of making my event as cheap and free as possible. We spent everything. We paid for everything out of my pocket, Shane. Like, I risked it all to make this happen. My house, my car, everything. I'm gonna lose everything. And I want people to, like, understand that. Why the fuck would anyone do this on purpose? Yeah. I can't really go tweet. Hey, this is what happened. Number one, I don't want to hurt Tana, but at the same time, I don't know how much more I can take. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, this is like your life, and you, you can protect Tana as much as you whatever. But like, I think the time of protecting Tana is over. I think we've all kind of done it for a long time, and you shouldn't let this. You know what I mean? It's like you shouldn't feel like you have to because this is, this is a, this is like worst case scenario. You know? I know, it, it is the worst case scenario. It's just not what we want it to happen. What was the goodie bag thing? That was a, another big thing where people were just like so mad because it was told, oh, this is going to be quadruple. The ticket price is going to be awesome. And it was like... Frankly speaking, this is another... Oh, my God. This is another thing that pisses me off and breaks my heart. Like, basically, Tana and I did not meet a lot of the time. Tana would basically give us all these things to deal with. I'm going to meet 5,000 people. How the fuck is Tana going to sit there and meet 5,000 people? But Tana would be like... The gift bag is going to be four times what it is. The event's in two weeks, Tana. What? How are we going to do that? I can't order product from China or here or where to get it into a goodie bag in time. I can't call a sponsor to give us that in a week. You can, Tana. Maybe you can call such and such and get free. They can put in every gift bag. Help us. 
you just tweet, we have to abide by it. Oh, well, the meetup groups are going to be this way. Okay, great. Now let us go back and reschedule everything and try to fix it out in and out. Like, yeah. that's not how business works. And the worst part about all of this was that Friday night when everything happened, I cried for hours. I was literally walking from venue to venue crying, trying to find something out. It's not over. It's not over. It's 11 p.m. We're still calling venues. It's 2 a.m. We're still calling venues. Do you know where Tana and are? Mm -mm. At Studio 71 party. Yeah, not to throw her under the bus, and I'm like really trying not to be like attacking. Tana, what do you want to do? Do you want to reschedule the entire event for January? We didn't even know. Everyone was waiting for this statement. No word from Tana. While we're, I'm crying that I just lost everything that I had, mm. trying to find a solution to make everyone happy. They were both drunk at Studio 71. I'm sure as hell I'm not going to go to a party after we just canceled this event the day before and try to fix it. Like that was a huge pivotal point. We had basically 12 hours to find a solution. Yeah. Instead of sitting in this boardroom with us, like me and my staff did, did not sleep for two days straight at that point. They were out acting like everything was good, I guess. Well, I saw that she was on vacation, like literally the day before, like the week she before. She was in Hawaii with Bella. We're in Hawaii, mahalo, bitch, mahalo, aloha, mahalo. And like, we're sitting here being like, we have a month to do this, Tana. You are in Hawaii? And it's like, okay, have fun, we'll do it, we'll figure it out. Like, our team's gonna just kind of make decisions. I prefer you not use a lot of this footage of me throwing Tana under the bus because I love her to death and it's gonna look bad. Ever cares me like, oh, we don't wanna work with Michael because it's gonna throw me under the bus. But like, Shane, I'm damn near suicidal over this. Like, this is really, really hurting me. And people don't understand that. Tana doesn't understand that. I'm more hurt than probably you, than Tana. I don't know what else to do. And that's why I'm doing this. I mean, my goal is to give some reality checks to people. I think people- She's gonna be mad. And I wanna like hug her in person. Like, Tana, this is where we made a mistake. Like loving and like coming from a place of love, not a place of anger. Well, and I'm sorry that you've had to experience it. I'm sorry Tana has to. I'm sorry the fans had to. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, you definitely put out apologies and statements faster than she did and that kind of says something so and we were trying to even fast like our team wrote them as soon as it happened like what what's the plan we couldn't get a response like i've got to figure out what to do like i'm looking at bankruptcy it's gonna probably ruin my life for the next seven years hmm. <sighs> well i'm glad that we're doing this you know at the end of the day the liability falls on me, and not Tana, not anyone else to me. Yeah. Thank you for giving me this chance to explain myself, because I can't really, like, go on it or live or Twitter or wherever and, and put my voice out there without getting attacked. Yeah. And thank you, of course. truly. Uh, All right, All right man. You, I'll keep you posted. Talk to you later. You Bye. That was crazy. Yeah. I, I, if Tana really did think that this guy was like some crazy scheming, you know, evil genius whose, his whole plan was to whatever, like, yeah, that was interesting and kind of fun to, to think about, but that was a kid. That was a kid. That was like literally like a child in his room freaking out. He's too young to be organizing anything that big. And also, Tana is too young and too irresponsible to do anything. Literally anything. <laughs> and I think that together, like, it, there was no way of that working. And now, the problem is this kid is literally, if that's real and he's gonna lose everything, this is crazy. Yeah. I wish you would have been on that segue for that interview. That would have been so good. <laughs> okay. So I have an Uber coming in literally one minute, um, but I just, I'm really nervous. I don't know what to do. I don't think she understands. Well, okay, I don't want to say it like that, but we'll maybe let her know that like the creators are probably disappointed too. Like it, this was my first ever thing that I went to and I didn't get to go. 
So like there's probably a lot of other people like that too, you know, like. We did all like take time off of work. You bought an expensive hotel for us to all stay in. You got us transportation down there and we all took four days off of working. Like, and we're not the people to feel sorry for because we're fine. We didn't sit in the sun forever. But I guess it's just about, are you finding whose fault it is or are you just getting everyone's side of the story? I don't know. Cause I don't want this to make Tana look like the worst person ever. But I also don't want to be too easy on her. I don't want this guy's life to be ruined. Like I literally, I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what the fuck? What would you say? I would say that it's extremely disappointing for someone that I've looked up to for a long time to not seem like they care about dis disappointing so many people. Yeah, and like to see, to see her out partying after like, there are thousands of people crying in their hotel rooms and she's just fine and her Gucci boots out partying. Like that's, like why do people look up to that? That sounds really mean, but like. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Okay, Uber's here. Wish me luck. <laughs> Two months ago, I made a YouTube video being taken out of Vincom, and I never thought that it would amount to this. Walking around TanaCon and seeing all of this happen, I never thought that that would come from this. And I know I'm always preaching the message of following your wildest dreams, but like, who would have thought this bitch would have a convention? Okay? <laughs> TanaCon is no joke. TanaCon is no joke. TanaCon is lit. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, I feel my heart right now. <laughs> it's like crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. I know, with the camera shake, sorry. Okay, she said she's coming down. <sighs> Do you think Bella Thorne's gonna be there? <laughs> Maybe, actually. <laughs> Bella Thorne comes out, she's so smart. She's like, I talked to the fire marshal. <laughs> <laughs> she rescheduled everything and coordinated everybody's schedule. She's like, I've already planned the next TanaCon, it's gonna be fine, 10,000 people, no problem. Bitch, I'm Bella Thorne. <laughs> Got to her still in Anaheim, like, where am I? <laughs> this is a good time to show you my phone background. It's Ricky Dillon holding up a big T. Oh yeah. That's me right now, honestly. <laughs> honestly, that's everybody right now. <laughs> it smells like weed. <laughs> it smells like weed. <laughs> Very much. Bella? I've been chewing gum this whole time, I'll just put it in my- Jesus. Wait, you're putting it in your pocket? Well, there's not a trash can. You don't put it in your pocket. Who's that? Who are all these people? Can I shut I have it set at 5,200 right now. I love that for us. So I feel like 5,200 is a good number. It would be really, really cool to not have people like outside waiting to get in. Like people love to be oppressed outside. Yeah. They're just like, I waited in the rain. Like they love that shit. Oh, I love that shit. And then they like want to watch the coaches arrive too. They're like, ah! Like, they're going really crazy. <laughs> Telling Michael that we're gonna talk to him in a few minutes. Have you talked to him? Oh, no. Literally not. He got on the plane to Nashville. I don't get it. No. Like, what did he say to you? So, what do I say to him? Like, there, there's so much I want to say, but I don't know what to say. I don't know. Well, what, what is making you emotional right now? amount of people I let down, including you, including creators, including people who showed up, including people just who believed in me in general. Like I, 
I let so many people down and I want to make it right, but I, it's crazy. This is not something I ever thought would happen and I don't know what to do, but I have to make it right. Before we call him, um, this is hard. I just, I'm going to be honest, because this is like the most, we were talking about this in the car on the way here. This is like the most intense, real thing I think I've ever done <laughs> because of, um, how much I really care for you. This is, I'm like, I, 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 know, I know, I know, I know, I know, okay? I'm so sorry, I laid you down, It's okay, I know, I know. I'm so, you don't understand. Like, you are everything I've ever wanted to be. And you believe in me, even in the slightest of anything, means the world to me. And to let you down and people who love us, to love me, to love you. Down is so heartbreaking, and I don't deserve you to be here right now. I don't deserve you to support me. This it's not your job, and I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm sorry. I feel like as crazy as this sounds. I told you since the beginning, from the first time I met you, I was like, you, I just, you're like my child. It's weird. Like the second I met you, I just <laughs> knew. Okay, and like. I've helped you in a lot of ways throughout the years with everything, everything. <laughs> every <single laughs> you know, um, and I think, you, you know, you always come to my rescue and I don't deserve it. I think the hard part is like this especially is really hard because like this, this fuck up like hurt me. Um, but I still like want to be the person who helps, which is so fucked up and weird. But because because I care about you, but I also like I'm gonna have to play fucking strong dad, okay? Like I have to be honest with you I and know. tell you what's fucked up and what that, how real this shit yeah. was, you know? Oh, it's so real shit. Like I've spent after talking to you this morning, I spent my whole car right up like looking at videos of people like there and like motherfucking sunburns. Like everything is just so fucked up. And I, I want you to be real with me. I don't want you to be. You don't even have to do this. The fact that you're even here talking to me, the fact that you still want to talk to me and you care. Thank you. I think everything happens for a reason. I think this happened. Be I don't go to conventions, right? Never. I know if that's it was like that. <laughs> you left your house for me. <laughs> <laughs> if it was anybody else's convention, I probably wouldn't have went. I went because I know, it was you. I know, you know that, and I knew that in my heart and soul. Like, I knew that you supported me that much. You cared about me that much to go and, like, to let you down and people who love you down breaks my heart. <laughs> but I think it happened for a reason. I genuinely do, okay? Because I can't figure it out. We'll get into all of that later. But yeah. before we get into that, we just need to clear up a lot of things because I talked to that Michael guy. And after talking to him, I don't think he's evil. And I don't, I think he just was in over his head. And I think you are in no position to ever plan even a birthday party, let alone a yeah. convention. And so I it's like- I literally should have planned a trip to like Target. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, an I'm an idiot. I'm such a fucking idiot. And I'm not even gonna say what I've been saying on Twitter, which is like, oh, her heart was in the right place. And oh, she had good intentions. Because honestly, what I, want to say to you is I don't think you had good intentions and I don't think you know that because the true intention of it was revenge. Um, a lot of people are going to be Yeah. They're like, I'm going to call Santa. They're so close that okay, I could literally like go see some Joy Girls up and escape the night shit like in the morning at VidCon and like come over to our convention. They could like hop back and forth. And they definitely will. And was fuck VidCon. You're assholes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, super fun. I didn't know that. So I watched pieces of your video, the long one that you posted, and I agreed with some of it. I didn't know, like when I saw the paper that Good Times was sending out that was like, fuck VidCon. Fuck VidCon! Fuck anyone who created VidCon! I didn't Literally. do that, if that makes it better, but it doesn't. Um, it's stupid and spiteful. It was so stupid. Planning my convention the same days as VidCon was so stupid yeah. and petty and I didn't I never thought it would end up like that. You are going to make this worse if you start and doing bad things. 
I was getting messages from like Hank Green and all these people from VidCon and my agents and all these people who were just like, the fuck VidCon thing? Like, do you really like, listen, I have my own issues with VidCon. I've talked to them personally about it, but like that to me is like, of course that blew up in our faces, of course. And if you want to ask me if I think you should attend VidCon 2018 this year, no. I think it's also one of those things that you need to learn now, which is the power you have over like, Literally, you created a convention that had your name in it, right? And because you're funny, and because I like you, I love you. Oh my god, are you peeing? I felt it. Is it warm? <laughs> and because a lot of other creators love you, we all came. Thousands and thousands of people came. It's like, that's a lot of power. <laughs> and in all honesty, you you used power for like not good. You used it to get revenge on VidCon. I don't think you wanted anything bad to happen. I don't think you wanted any kids hurt. Like there's a lot of people saying that. You didn't want that. I didn't want anything bad to happen and I wasn't even in my mind sitting here being like I want bad things to happen to VidCon whenever I just wanted to do something different and I wanted it to be good. But I wanted... if, if you truly did though, and this is where I'm going to get like truth daddy on you. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Daddy con, sorry. <laughs> if, if you truly did uh, want it to be better, you would have planned it better and you would have been more involved. You wouldn't I have been have on vacation in Hawaii. We're in Hawaii. Mahalo, bitch. Mahalo. Aloha. Mahalo. I'm not surprised because it's you, right? right? So I'm not surprised it wasn't planned well. But right. when I see how shitty it was, like on the inside, it was a joke. Like it was right. like. There was no booths. There was no nothing to do. There was like no real food or water. Yeah, no food. Yeah, there's no food. Yeah. Like, yeah. have nothing to eat. The planning was bad. The lineup was weird. As featured fucking creators who paid to come to an event that didn't have a separate VIP line. Um, there's a possibility we may not actually get inside. If you truly were like, oh, I actually want this to be a good experience. I want this to be a better experience for people to make You did. And I am missing a day of VidCon for this because I wanted to support her. Wanted to. Did want to. Not so sure I want to now. I think once tickets started selling and once people started being like, we love Tana, we love TanaCon, that became less important. It was more about like, oh, people are on my side and people are never on my side. And they're finally on my side. Oh my God, the internet's on my side. Like, I get it. Thank you for putting this into perspective. You know what I mean? I get it, because people always hate me. <laughs> so when somebody's on my side, I'm like, oh my God. You're and right. that took and having, over. Having you guys on my side was very, new and different and all that kind of stuff but I, I do want you to know but it doesn't fucking matter that I sat in meeting after meeting after meeting with them still deciding things like I want this panel to go at this time I want these people to do this I want this kind of booth I want there to be food and water I want there to be great security I want there I spent so much time but it wasn't good enough you can't do it in two months you can't do it when you're 20 years old and you have no experience in this industry and and you're right like if I really I wanted it to be as good as I'm out here saying I should have planned it in a year and I was dumb and impulsive for doing it in two months. Yeah. Stupid mm -hmm. as fuck. Yeah. Sure you yeah. Alright, well, before we talk to uh, Michael, I, I'm gonna give you a heads up. He's very much defensive, but then he is saying things like, she wasn't really hands-on with planning, or if she was, it was too late. Straight up, that's not true. I spoke to Michael every single day, and he would tell me, if you want it to happen, we will make it happen. It's not 100% official, but we are 70% have a little pump for your birthday. What? And everybody is talking about capacity and people inside. I was under the impression that that space was perfectly fine for 5,000 people. I went there, I toured the venue. He had people from Anaheim, Marriott, whatever the fuck, speak to me. They were telling me that that space is fine, that big room and all of the ballrooms and all of the space in between. And I asked him over and over and over and over again. 5,000 people can be in this space, right? There's plenty of space for 5,000 people. We have plenty of security for 5,000 people, right? We have plenty, we have the best security team, we have the best space, we have the biggest space, right? And I will say that to his face if you wanna call him. But it doesn't make sense because it doesn't line up. So if somebody at the Marriott really? told you that, and now he's suing the Marriott. He suing Why the Marriott. is he suing the Marriott? Because he says that they lied to him about capacity. So that's what I'm trying to understand because if it's, a, if it's a slip up, I get it. Like really, if I thought that that space didn't hold a lot of people, I wouldn't have held it there. 100% honestly with 
you. Like, I wouldn't have held TanaCon in a space where I thought it wouldn't hold those people. But I also know fucking nothing yeah. about planning conventions or anything like that. Yeah. There's been so many conversations about space and capacity. And there's 100% a chance that I've been an airhead or a fucking idiot. But, like, I think we're in a good capacity. I mean, we could drop it to 3,000 if we wanted to instead of 5,200. I mean, but... we could. <laughs> what are we gonna? <laughs> Would make you look really bad um but it is something that like bothered me when i heard it okay. the night of all of the fucking tanacom bullshit did you really go to the party i went to my networks thing to talk to people from my network like i went inside that's my it was my networks event studio 71 it wasn't like a random party and was just talking to all of the interns and stuff there because a lot of them are mad everyone around is like go outside go meet these international fans go outside go to studio 71 talk to the fans outside talk to the people inside let them know that you're gonna fix it whatever people are definitely a lot of people are mad but for you know the right reasons i get it so i'm gonna fight for a fucking bigger better type of context and i don't care if it's in 10 fucking arenas okay with every bully sport in the united states because i love you okay i thought it would make things better by instead of hiding going out and talking to people and telling them how i feel because everyone else is speaking for me and saying so many things that just aren't true in that situation you and all of the people involved should be in a conference room but like everyone not even stopping by a party like because that's not like when you have like thousands of people going back to their motel rooms burnt like yeah. And then you have me, who has nothing to do with the event, doing everything I can. Shane, I talked to Shane on the phone earlier. He was like, what's going on? And he was like, I don't want to just come and meet 200 lucky people. I'm going, I want to make every right. single person who came happy and let them see me. He's like, let's figure something out. Like, that's, I think, why people are pissed. It is still, it's my fault. That was dumb. Everything I've done is dumb. Shane. <laughs> So, let's talk to him. There's also like a harsh light on your face, but if you don't move. Um, yeah, this is fine now. Yeah, can you hear us? Hi. So you guys haven't really talked. Um, we haven't. This is really the first time since like her birthday. So I don't know what to say. I don't Shane, either. I don't know what to say. Shane and I were just talking about the fact that Things could have yeah. been done so much better, but it sucks because I really trusted you. And you know I love you. Nothing was ever done intentional, and I am so devastated more than you know. Like, I, Jordan was there for some of it. Like, I was up crying to him. Like, I'm, I'm gonna lose my house. You were just very reassuring to me that everything was going to be fine in the hands of the things that I couldn't control. You know, I can only do so much. What am I going to do personally? Background every security, background check every security guard. You made me feel like you had that done, Michael. And we did. Like, we hired the, the only security team that was there. And they were great. They assured us they were great. We had a contract with them. Like, I... But then I get word back that you're telling people that it's just people in shirts, that it's not even good security. Yeah. Like people getting sunburned and outside and... I'm devastated and I'm just like speechless at this point. So I'm gonna ask some, I'm gonna ask something that might get uncomfortable. You said something earlier. Uh, you mentioned you, you might lose your house and like you're gonna go bankrupt and all of that. You said that Tana told her audience and told everybody that she was putting a lot of her own money in this, and you said that's not true. What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, like... Define me, explain me telling, explain me saying I'm putting my own money into it. Because I'm t whenever I've talked about that, I've talked about 
the investments that were like made you told me we're in this together this is our money i'm investing it here and i also don't understand the bankruptcy thing from you've told me one thing about the way that you make your money but every single person you manage has told me that like it's your mom's real estate money and you have plenty of it and you've scammed them and then, like fuck michael i the shit that your clients have told me over the past two days i can't get out of my head everyone's so, that is so disgusting that is actually so sad. Every single one of your clients that went to TanaCon came up to me at my birthday party and told me they were too afraid to tell me that you would were gonna fuck me over. That they get fucked over by you constantly and that I should have listened to everyone who told me not to work with you and that like on and on and on and on. Every single one of your biggest clients told me how much money you've taken from them, how much you've hurt them. Like I name them, I'll say their names. Like if you want me to, I'll ask them to ask you. Like I yeah, I, I would love to. So why does every single one of your clients tell me that six months ago they knew that you were gonna scam me? That six months ago you stopped working on all their stuff just to make money off of me? No one wanted to. Tana, what are you talking about? Like, you know that I loved you. I trusted you. And here we are in this situation. Like, you want to point blame at me, but you're not pointing any blame at you. It's my fault. It was my convention. Like, I put my name on it because I believed in it and it fucked up and that's my fault. I'm not like, putting any blame on you. I'm telling you what people told me about you. Like, That's what? what your clients are telling. No, no, I didn't say you scammed your parents. I said you have money from your parents and you've been scamming your clients I according to them. I didn't money. If I did, I'd like to file a bankruptcy channel. Like, the only thing that went wrong was the additional people outside. The inside That's not wrong. the only thing that went wrong. You, The gift bags were fucked up. The inside was fucked up. There should have been more food and water. I'm not supposed to know how much food and water go into a convention. You promised me you knew all of that because you ran conventions. There's so much more wrong than the people outside, and that's the first problem that you think that that's the only thing wrong. It's not the only thing wrong, but let me, let me speak. I have to pay rent in two days, and I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do it. Well, that's not true. You have 10 clients that you make so much money from because they're all telling me how they're not getting any of it. That's not even remotely true, but I cared about you and I loved about you. But that doesn't change the fact that so many people waiting in the sun getting sunburns getting fucked over because I thought that everything was good because you told me it would be good. You're sitting here telling me I'm not investing my own money into it, but I wasn't profiting. Every dollar that I was going to make was going right back into Tanagon. You know I wasn't profiting. You know I wasn't making any fucking like money from this. I know, Tana. Listen. And then you lied to me over and over again about so fucking much, Michael. How did anyone lie to you, Tana? There was no food, there was no water. We sat and looked through things. I gave you an itemized list with 10 people watching of every single thing that was supposed to be in the gift bags and you assured me they would be there. And then it comes out that it's condoms and stickers. No, I didn't, sitting at my house. Hunter was there. Hunter, did I not tell him what I wanted in the fucking gift bags months prior? Like, Michael, you told me that they could be four times the ticket price. I asked you and you said yes. And now you're like, we'll find out. Like what? Tana, what are those 10 things that add up to $200? A merch shirt inside. I told you I wanted to do lip gloss. You told me you would reach out to makeup companies. I wanted to do glitter to do glitter cheese. You told me you'd reach out to Lemonhead and get glitter. Like I can sit here and tell you every single itemized thing because I did it. And then you told me you wanted to handle all of the legal aspects of it. You told Jen that, you told Bella that. Dude, Bella will sit there and tell, like straight up tell you that the second you walked in her house, Bella was like, you shouldn't fucking work with him. Like, the, he's not gonna do any of that. He's gonna fuck you over. Everyone on her team was terrified. I flew out weeks early to go to the hotel to plan. You came once. You like, told me not to go to, that I didn't need to go. What would me walking through a hundred times do? I don't know anything about that side of the industry. You do. I trusted you. I know everything that you wanted, but it's your event. Yeah. I told you every single thing I wanted and you told me it would all happen and I didn't find out until at TanaCon that it wasn't happening. The night before you told me there was plenty of food and water. We get inside, where is the food and water? That sucks. You realize that that's my name attached to that. Security is my biggest concern. Will there be 91? Literally all of the people on the security team were telling me that there was around 40. I staffed a $100,000 security bill and you're telling me that was 91 guards Bro, those guards were Those nowhere. guards were Every fucking time I garbage. Looked, I... Everything was going smooth inside the event. Like, you did a wedding. Like, everything went great inside Absolutely. the event. Absolutely. The onstage things and the, the meet and greets and everything that was going on, everything was going fine. But I also wasn't aware that all those people were sitting outside baking this in the heat. You told me people were funneling in. 
You told me that everything was fine security wise. I didn't know she was going awry with TanaCon until I'm up in my room getting calls. Fire marshals are here. Tana, I need to go speak to the police chief downstairs. 20,000 people, 20,000 people, 20,000 people has been the number that you said this whole time and I'm finding out that it might not have even been that. Oh. They sold too many tickets and they can't fit all the people in there and all the free people are in there and the people that pay can't get in. Remember when I went to your room and said, Tana, look outside, we need to make a decision. Then I came back and said, but what am I supposed to do, the creator in that moment? I've never ran a convention. What am I going to do? Huddle all the people together? You told me you had that on lock. You I told know, me. This is your convention. You were Studio 71's party while we are trying to find a backup venue. Okay, can you write it up? Email it to me. We gotta go because we have a thousand things going. Okay. Thank you. I'm trying to, myself and my staff, for up to 24 hours straight trying to find a backup venue while you're getting drunk with Jordan. Michael, you were party. fighting with fire people and Jen and there's videos of that. You were doing a lot. You were still segueing around doing random shit that night too. I went to Studio 71 to talk to the people from my network to ask them what the fuck to do. Because I don't know, should I have another venue tomorrow? Should I keep trusting Michael when he keeps fucking me over? I don't understand anything and you still have not answered my last like 10 questions to you you just keep diverting the subject like what is me going to the studio 71 party have to do with the fact that you told me there was 90 something guards and there was 30 what does it have to do with the fact that people were outside getting sunburns and you were telling me that everyone was being let in fine before everyone kind of came which is all at once everyone was funneling it smoothly that's why the inside was going great but i see videos and i don't think that I don't think I, that people were funneling in smoothly. I think that you were just telling me that. Okay, well, I, I have the video footage, and I will show it to you. Like, But I've seen the footage from my fans who I clearly want to trust more. Look at the sunburns. I, Look at everything. Listen, I'm going to jump in for a second. I, 100%, it was never running smooth. Okay, like we have to just cut the shit with all of us. It wasn't ever running smooth. From what I saw, yes, backstage, on stage, doing all the things, everything looks smooth. But when I see videos of people fighting with security that you hired, telling my fans that no one wants to meet them and to go the fuck home and pushing them and all that kind of shit, that is where I do look to you. You told me they were the best. You told me. I don't get me wrong, Tana. I'm just as about security too. We just had a conversation internally, actually, after another phone with Shane, that we might see repercussions against the. the Security team too. We were pissed at them. That but it just doesn't it's seem like everyone on your team either really is having those conversations internally because every time I spoke to someone on your team on the side, they're like, you should have seen this coming. You knew that Michael was going to do this, you know, whatever. Who like, said that? Like, no. Sydney literally said, I would get on a call to interview with Shane. The girl who was my right hand with me all the time said, I would get on a call with Shane and Tana. Like, Michael, it's so clear that your clients and everyone around you. I don't even know how to say this. Like it's, this is what okay. I was scared of. Here's the thing. Are though. afraid of you. Here's the thing. And it sucks. I, I don't want to hear that. That's like horrible and heartbreaking. And, here's and I don't mean in the sense of you being like physical or anything like that, but of you fucking them over, of you taking money, of you doing shady money. shit. I mean, I, I would love to direct to Shane one of 20 people who told me so many things about the shady shit that you've done. They've not told me about it. I've never stolen a dollar from anyone. I've never done anything. But I'm an idiot for not listening to everyone and not researching. And how do you think that makes you feel with you saying that? Like I trusted you too. Okay. Okay. is fucking bullshit. You told me the things you would do and the things I would do, and I did the things that I would do to the best of my ability, Michael, and you know like, that. And maybe that's true. Maybe you did it to the best of your ability. I asked you a thousand times if security was fine. I asked you a thousand times if the gift bags were fine. I asked you a thousand times if every the merch was going to be there. I asked you everything and you said yes. The thing was, you, like, you didn't. We had all of these ideas, like, let's talk ideas. I have all the footage of us throwing out ideas. The gift bag ideas. I'm not talking about ideas. I'm talking about everything you promised me. They're not we got pumped for your birthday. Everything you said would be there, but Shane is right. Like we're both fucking young and dumb as fuck and we should have never been in the position to do this and now so many people are fucked over and that's what matters. This, Don't get me wrong. What, what I'm gathering from this, uh, listen, even if it worked, okay? Even if there was no issues, no drama, no whatever, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, yeah. There's no way that 5,000 people could fit there. Right. There's no way yeah. that 5,000 people would have had a good time. You both knew this wasn't gonna work. But what is capacity? The hotel told me to call the group, but obviously- like, In like the main ballroom. Oh. Um, I haven't said it 5,200 right now. 
I love that for us. I can also kind of just like set no capacity and then just be like, okay, we're gonna sell it out when we sell it out. <laughs> I mean, because I feel like there's a chance. Everything about this was a failure. It was everybody's fuck up and it should never, ever, ever happen again. And this situation, we're so fucking lucky that nobody was hurt. We are so lucky. I don't think you need to like be at the spearhead of something that big. I agree. 100%. That, big. that was my biggest mistake. You that know, should have I... been sister con straight up. Like straight up. <laughs> I am an idiot. <laughs> I am a fucking idiot. You know. <laughs> and I take full responsibility for that. I mean, is there anything else you want to say? I And by the way, I told you that you could trust me, okay? So when we were talking earlier in text, I told you you could trust me. This is not about ruining your life or your business or any of that shit. Like, that, this is not what I, I do. I'm sorry, Michael. So many I'm sorry to you. people I'm were in my ear. I said, during when all of this happened, I said, I let Tana down. And I cried my fucking ass off. Then I let all the fans down and let, well, I'm gonna lose my house and my career, like. Come on. We can't, we can't sit and sulk now. We gotta go. It's go time. Simple as that. I'm gonna be ruined forever. No, Michael, we gotta make power moves right now. All we can do is apologize and, and try to make it right. If that is the one thing that we can agree on, I agree that it needs to be made right. With every person. Straight up. Yeah. Can you promise me something? I know I don't know you that well, but can you like, you said something earlier off camera that scared me a little bit. Are you gonna be okay? You're not gonna do anything stupid, right? Michael, the last thing anybody wants is for you to do anything stupid. It's not I worth it, okay? You. This is so, this is literally TanaCon, okay? This is like- Seriously. I, I literally, I know it's just really hard. And I, I think that it's gonna get better. Every, I come to think about it. I have people around me that I support and love me, and it's really, really hard. Please don't let this ruin your life. <laughs> this is Tanacon. Like, I just want to remind you, we're gonna figure out how to fix it and make things Peter, better. Literally, but, like, my dad. <laughs> literally the best dad I could ever And I wish I could hug you right now, man. Honestly, I wish you were here because, like, I just want you to know everything's okay. Well, I'll talk to bye. you soon. Bye, Michael. Sorry. <laughs> we were hearing all this shit about fire marshals and police and all that fucking everything that was going on. Everyone and their mother was blowing up Michael's phone oh, and he was wow. nowhere to be found. Off for days. He stressed that he had it under control the entire time. In reality, he never did have it under control. And, and, me and, that out. and, and that's now, like, now we're really realizing because getting me and Jordan, like Dan's manager, both had this gut feeling about it. We both knew, but Tana was so confident in Tanacon, he was gonna tell her anything she wanted to hear to make it happen. Yeah, he Unfortunately, made me feel like, like trying for this was like, you'd be fucking stupid not to. They're gonna be like, what, the golf cart drives by, they're gonna be like, oh my God. Michael walking into my house like, covered head to toe in Gucci and Chanel and all that kind of shit. Telling me I'm rich as fuck and I did it by making conventions. My life is amazing because I made conventions. I can do this for you in a heartbeat, you know? And I knew better. He said to me five times that he's gonna lose his house, he's gonna lose everything. Is that real? Cause that's like fucking crazy. That's like a lot. That's like, is that real? I don't, I don't know how to like say this to you because it's like, I don't wanna paint anyone as the bad guy but me. I fucked up, but a lot of people, including me, know how Michael really is, and his house is owned by his parents, or he rents it, or he's fine. Like, he's fine completely, but, but I, I think that when everyone's attacking you like that, you know, it's, he might want a pity. I don't, I don't know how to say this, Shane. Like, okay, sure. No, listen, this whole thing has to be real, or else people aren't gonna, they're not gonna buy any of it, so, like. I don't think he's a good person, if that's like too hardcore to say. I think he lied and lied and lied and lied and lied to me. I think he puts on a facade of all these investors and this big company and whatever, but it's a young kid with mommy's money and some interns and clients that are afraid of him. So they operate in the ways that he wants to to make him maintain this, this image. And I fell for the facade and the image followed by the lies and promises about what my convention could be. He's not losing any house. He's not going bankrupt on this. He's not doing any of that. Do you, because he said that he has footage of everything. So they have yeah. the footage of everything. So they only have half the story and then I have the other like pieces. We filmed it all, all that kind of stuff. 
I also just want you to know, like straight up, they have been so adamant from day one, like we're gonna make a fucking documentary about this. We're gonna sell it full screens and Netflix and whatever, you know, where people subscribe. And I've said from day one, I don't love that idea and I don't wanna do it. I wanna make a video for my YouTube channel. And I had Hunter following me around the night before TanaCon. They come to him, all the footage is ours, all of your footage is ours. You can't touch your own footage, like it's all ours. We wanna make a documentary. We're gonna make a movie out of this. I wanna see some of this. Um, what was I gonna say? This is 40 feet long of staging. Okay. Three feet high, which will come up to right here. Wait, this will be the, the stage. whole thing is stage. Wow, that's gonna be a fat ass it's stage. Big, yeah. <laughs> I want to see what that looks like as well. 40 feet, 16 feet deep, three feet tall. That's fucking nuts. Also, big stage. I don't, is the lighting cool? Like when you're I'm sitting here asking him every question about him, <laughs> and he's trying to say that never happened. You okay, can't, cause. Where I... This is a perfect example of him yeah, trying to look <laughs> bougie so and professional. Whoa, it's like big. It's very big. It's tall. It's, it's like, very big. I'm sitting yeah. here thinking so it's a lot of space. Be like the FF lounge, whatever they do. I have nothing Do they want a talent lounge or do they want a... Beats me. We should figure that out. Yeah, yeah. I've asked Jin Love. Whoa, whoa! That was like a conspiracy moment. What the fuck? This, okay listen, I'm not trying to drag this kid and he's not here to defend himself during this moment, but like, that was crazy. You look like you were in charge of that shit. You were yeah, like, I asked him on every, the, but we that's should look into that. What I want you to know, for everything I did that over and over and over and over and over because I didn't fucking want this to happen, Shane. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna go fucking crazy. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Holy shit. We have that entire swap in the parking lot. Okay. See, this is him telling me because the parking lot is going to be safe. It's for registration. We have the whole parking lot. Yeah, to do like, we're going to put the registration booths out there so it keeps track of guys. Because this is, frankly, 5,000 people a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And like, you see the space. So we got to make that work. See? Um, we're going to have See? Updates. See? I literally don't want to walk on this concrete. See? Show you our talent see? check is. 5,000 people is a lot of people. We got to make that work. This is outside is where the lines are going to be. Outside is for registration. I haven't even watched this footage yet. Yeah, neither have I. Straight up, neither have I. Oh, the G Wagon limo is the shuttle? Yeah. The G Wagon limo is This is me itemizing every single detail. And I can't like, oh, inside of it. And then he just said I didn't meet, also. That I never met, I never did these details, I never did that. You're seeing that I cared about every detail, yes? Like... I'm losing my mind. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever been part of. <laughs> I, I want to go to more of me asking him questions about capacity, security. Security's tight. Awesome. But Security's yeah, we'll tight. All the way up to the green room. So this is where I was actually gonna have a career party. With a cool space. And that got canceled. That was a lot. This is also a sitting here like 800 to the finalizing things. You know, you've been trying to cry how many comments everyone piles towards the front of the room. Like that main stage room is going to be packed regardless. Like, like a mosh pit. But a safe one. Yeah. <laughs> but a safe one! I, I want Please! Oh, good times, like a mosh pit. Tana, what a safe one. I am so happy you were seeing this one. God, I want to throw up. God, I want to cry. God, I want to shit myself. I, like, literally what? Check your phone. Yeah. Cause this is just me talking to Learn from me. Cause I can play it, but. Exactly, and that's cool too that I'm getting to do this so hands on. Like, I learned today. Craft, I so like it's all I'm learning with experience, but I like that because then that means I'm fucking hands on and I actually care and I'm actually giving yeah, you what I want. I want to hug. So I want to make sure we hit every point. Another thing that everybody's talking about: the idea that there was actually no free tickets, which is so fucking insane to me. Because I have been told all the way up until right now of you walking in here, that there is at least 4,000 free tickets. If there are less than that, and more VIP tickets are being sold, where is that money? 4,000 free tickets? Yeah, like 4,000 free, 1,000 VIP. VIP was always supposed to be the small extra. They could skip the lines or whatever. Obviously, 5,000 VIPs would never work. But that's what you sold. You sold 5,000 VIPs. Mm. If that is true, I didn't know that. Straight up. I, and I don't have any of that money. I mean, we can look he at He was it. saying, you know, like, we've sold 4,200, but 3,000 are free. Do you get what I'm saying? He said, we sold 5,000 tickets. We made $325,000. Well, that's what And that money is going back into rent and this in the convention or whatever. 
Well, because didn't the other girl too say like she didn't see anybody in the in line that had a free ticket? Nope. Everybody was VIP. So is, is the free thing just bullshit scam? We found a scammer who's putting something on. Yes. Everybody off. Jonah scammer is so pissed at how well I'm scamming. I'm drunk. Can you just get this out of my? It was never for profit. I wouldn't have had free tickets and sixty-five dollar tickets if it was for profit. I've gone on a million tours and made money. Like you know what I mean? I wasn't doing this for money. I would have done it so fucking differently. It was for a statement, but I still wasn't doing it to scam anyone or make any money like that. I don't know. Tana Mojo's event, a scam. Adorable. <laughs> um, thank you for doing this. Uh, this has been the craziest experience I've ever seen. But more importantly, we're gonna figure out how to fix this, and we're gonna exactly. That's you know, all the make it all work. Get the refunds. We can do it. Yeah. And the fact that we can even say we that you cared us to help me means so much more. Me. Our journey. Thank you. I love my dad. Thank you, Ricky. Hon. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. For the tea. <laughs> So I still had a lot of questions about pretty much everything. So I called Michael and uh, we talked for a while and then I called Tana and I got all the answers. So. The official number of VIP tickets sold was 5,108. The number of free tickets was between two and 300. Michael claims that Tana knew that and that she was lying when she said she didn't. And Tana still says she didn't. The number of security guards was never 91. I got a hold of the contract and it said that at most, there was 25 security guards at a time. Now to put that in perspective, for most conventions, it's usually 50 guards per 5,000 people. So this was cut in half. The amount of money spent on security was $60,000. To put that in perspective, the amount of money that VidCon spends on security is $1 million. This is the big one, capacity. So I got a hold of the contract between the Marriott and Good Times. And the contract stated, that there was only going to be 1,000 people. And Michael signed it. Now I talked to both Tana and Michael about this and they both said that yes, the contract might have said 1,000, but everybody at Marriott told them that that was just a safe number and that 5,000 was okay. And here's the final thing, the money. So the amount of ticket sales is roughly $325,000. Now all of that money is currently being held by the ticket company, Leaps. Now Veeps is new and they've never done a convention before. So TanaCon was gonna be their first. And because Michael really wanted to seal the deal, he signed a contract with them saying that if anything went wrong or tickets needed to be refunded, the funds would have to come from good times. And Michael signed that contract. And then Michael explained to me that he is good times. Just him. How many, sorry, how many people work? Good times, so. He wants to make good times seem a lot more than it is. In reality, like I just said to you, it is him, his parents' money, and a bunch of interns who are afraid of him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe like 10. Well, if he's but Michael's very quick to be like, the investor said. Which means that he is personally responsible for finding $325,000 to give refunds. And that's like, what's sad too is good times is just Michael, his parents' money, and a bunch of interns that are afraid of him. Maybe, straight up. Is there a way? So I want to give a final thought on all of this. I don't think Michael's evil. I don't think Tan is evil. I think they both fucked up. And I hope they take it as a learning lesson. Well, hope you enjoy TanCon. I don't know how to end it. <laughs>